Uh, Debbie was telling me this morning some very strange business involving Al-Qaeda uh, on the one hand, and then what's going on at the border, uh, kind of a connection between the two. So what, what are you talking about? Yeah, so apparently there's a report from Judicial Watch, which I, I get you know, via email, and they said that Al-Qaeda is planning some plane attacks uh, using new techniques and tactics, right? Because air marshals, apparently, are now getting sent to the Mexican border. Um, they are, um, apparently, they're sending 150, so, so the Biden administration is sending 150 to 200 uh, air marshals monthly to the southern border to help with what they call a surge in irregular migration. Irregular migration. You, I love all these euphemisms, undocumented aliens, <laughs> irregular migration. Um, and oh, yeah. um, now here's here's the background of all this, of course, after 9-11, uh, the Al-Qaeda attack in 9-11, uh, federal marshals were deployed to protect airlines. And right. so they I think part, what, they were part of the Homeland Security. Yeah. Right? And, so, and it's worked pretty well because, look, I mean, I yeah. think right after 9-11, many of us would have predicted that we're likely to see at least a number of attempted such attacks. But quite honestly, if they've been attempted, they've been thwarted. So the system as it is has whatever you think of it proved reasonably effective right. or maybe al-qaeda decided to go try other things but yeah. what you're saying is that now that yeah. the air marshals have been redeployed right well and not only that but i even i even go a little further to say that the the you know citizens have gotten a little wiser to this so so there's going to be some citizens that are going to be willing to fight to their last breath right in case this this happens again so uh but uh, the interesting thing, of course, is that now the the, the Air Marshal National Council, uh, which represents thousands of, of these air marshals, accused TSA Administrator David uh, Pekoski and FAM Director Terrell Stevenson of violating federal law and overstepping their authority by assigning air marshals to assist U.S. Border Patrol. So apparently, I mean, this is just uh, the typical. Think of it. This is the way the government operates. First of all, they're negligent before 9/11. Then when 9-11 occurs, it's like, okay, now let's get everybody to take their shoes off. Let's create this massive bureaucracy, TSA. Let's deploy these air marshals. And so they, they do that. And then after a while, it appears like the attacks have subsided. It's not happening. No other 9-11. It's been 20 years. So suddenly it's like, like hey, well, we don't need to. let's but, not pay too but, much. But, yeah. so, so, um, so the Air Marshal Na National Council fired off a letter to DHS Secretary Mayorkas and uh, Pekoski and Stevenson reminding them that deploying these air marshals to the southern border to perform humanitarian work is reckless and it's putting the nation at extreme risk. Um, and, and I believe that, that not only is that happening, but just the, the, the pure porous border itself is putting the nation at risk. So we have a lot of different angles putting our country at risk, not only at risk of terrorists attacking airplanes, but terrorists posing as Mexicans and coming in through the border, as well as the fentanyl crisis that has um, just... You know, and one thing that's worth keeping in mind, in and, and you and I have talked about this before, is that if you follow the trajectory of these attacks, by and large, the ground for them is paved by Democrat leadership, or should I say lack of leadership. Even though the 9-11 attacks occurred under Bush, the ground for that was prepared under Clinton. Remember the attacks on uh, Cobar Towers, the uh, attack on the USS Cole, the attack on US embassies. Clinton administration does nothing. Yeah. They even know where bin Laden is, but they don't go after him. And yeah. so bin Laden becomes emboldened. Um, and then mm -hmm. similar, so my point is that now that they have Biden there, mm -hmm. and they know that Biden doesn't care about any of this, his attention is elsewhere. Well, his attention is such as it is. Well, he, he I don't think he has much There's attention. There's not a whole 
lot of attention <laughs> going on. I think he's he's one of those. He, he's really Bernie weekends weekend at Bernie's because uh, that's exactly what you know what he looks like to the rest of I us. I mean, it's gotten to a point but, where you know it used to be that we'd see these things, we'd roll our eyes, we'd make fun of it, but they've become so routine. In yeah. other words, it is now expected that Biden says things that make no sense. Yeah. Um, he has sentences that don't conjoin one to the other. There's no logic there, and nobody even feels like they need yeah. to criticize it or explain it because this it's just like this is Biden. This is the, the clown. Exactly. That, well, this is and this is really bad. And, and even like I'll even go further reading this. So apparently these these air marshals are making sandwiches and this is I mean, and I'm reading this, for, you know, word, word for word. They're making sandwiches for them and driving them around like Uber or picking up supplies. So our air marshals are Ubering illegals. This is the this is the Biden regime for you. It is um, it, uh, we can see the dual oh. the dual injustice here. On the one hand, you have this 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 chaos at the border. On the other hand, the movement of people who could actually be doing things to protect our national security and protect our citizens now being used to handle this crisis completely man-made and deliberately engineered by the Biden administration itself.